Last week on Garage Gear, I tuned up this Craftsman 917 21-inch lawnmower that I found by the curb. Got it running, but it has a fatal flaw that could hinder selling it. So how much is this 20-year-old Craftsman worth? Stick around and find out. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe. Similar mowers like this usually go for about $50 to $75 in my local area. But this one has a hole in the deck. Pretty significant one too. Check this out. Up we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a crack all right. You know, if you put enough torque on these handlebars, you'll probably start to crack that hole open a little bit further. Look at those front wheels shaking, wow. For me, mowers with issues like this are actually very hard to sell. In my area, I'd be lucky to get about $25 for this thing as is. Seriously, even with the engine running, people don't wanna buy a problem. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna tear this mower down and part it out. And as I tear this mower down, I'm gonna give you some ballpark prices on what each part is worth. I have sold many parts like this in the past on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, eBay for many years. These prices will not include shipping or tax. And some of you out there who may have done similar things like this in the past may say some parts are worth more or less, but I'm gonna give you the value on each part based on what I got for them in the past. Give me me money. <laughs> Here we go. Now we know that this engine runs and I'll have that tune up video linked down below in the description. I have taken these engines off countless mowers in the past and sold them as is. People buy them all the time and they're pretty universal. 50 bucks all day. This blade right here, not bad. I could maybe save it for another mower down the road but it's definitely not worth selling. Zero. There we go. Voila. I'm gonna push you right over here next to all the other stuff for sale. So at 50 bucks, we're already ahead of that $25. Next, we're gonna free up this cable. Engine cable, little bend here, no big deal, 10 bucks. Next, we're gonna take off these handlebars. Clip number one, clip number two. We're gonna squeeze these guys together and slide it right off. Handlebars, you got a little bit of rust up here at the top, not a big deal, 20 bucks. Let's pop this bad boy up a little bit. Two 12 inch lawnmower wheels, plenty of tread, no cracks, about 30 bucks. Both of these front wheels are pretty much useless. The inside hub on each of them is really worn out. Even on the backside, they're cracking. Trash, nothing to be made on these. Typical Craftsman MTD nonsense, different bolts and different sizes all over the place. Go. Check it out, here's the height adjusters, front and back, 35 bucks all day. You know what else needs an adjustment? The YouTube algorithm. Hitting that like button down below will fix that. Thanks. Last but not least, the rear cover. This one's kind of unique because look at this, it's got a mulch plug on the back built into it. This guy, 15 bucks. So our grand total comes out to $160 for all these lawnmower parts. Not too shabby. Now all these parts will sell. There's always people looking for parts out there. It'll probably take me about 30 minutes or so to put all these parts online. And it only took me about 20 minutes to rip this whole thing down, plus another 40 minutes to do the tune-up. So I got about an hour and a half into this mower at 160 bucks. That's a pretty good payday. Now what am I gonna do as far as the deck? Well, before I get into that, check this out. We got the Interstate 90 right here all the way across. This is in pretty rough shape. This whole corner is just ready to fall right off. Now I could take this metal deck to the recycling center, which is only about two miles away, but I'd probably only get about three bucks for it. Cheap steel ain't worth that much. If I had some other metal, I would maybe take it. Here's what I'm gonna do with it. On the evening before garbage day, metal pickers are usually driving all around the neighborhood. I'll just leave it out for them. Some of those guys have some loaded up trucks full of scrap metal. It is now time to sell some of those mower parts so I can take the garage gal out to dinner. Don't forget to give me one of these. For more cool garage gear videos, check out my links right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.